time. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Your testimony is permanent. In Jesus' mighty name. I say your testimony is permanent. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We love you, our online viewers. Thank you for being with us. Hallelujah. 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 And so we began talking about how to activate supernatural testimonies in your season. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And God has been speaking to us on this mountain since Tuesday. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And we talked about faith. Praise the name of Jesus. Believing in God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we said faith is the master card by which you used to transact in the spiritual realms. Hallelujah. We also say uh, faith is the key by which we enter into the realm of impossibilities. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 11, 6, for, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. And we went ahead talking about uh, obedience. Glory be to Jesus Christ. That we move from a place of just having faith to a place of obeying God. Because I said yesterday, or we said yesterday, that concerning every season that a man goes through, God always speaks. Praise the name of Jesus. There is always a rhema word for that season. Glory be to God. And when we hear and understand the word that is going, that God is speaking to us, praise the name of the Lord. We obey. Say obey. And when we obey, we eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. We get every blessing from that season. Even if the enemy had meant that that season is going to harass us. Hallelujah. God turns it around for our good. Because we obey the Rema word. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and say, I will obey the Rema word. In my season. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So that season you are going through is not permanent. Amen. It is just for a while. Hallelujah. And God has packaged you with grace to take you through that season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says we have gone through fire and we have gone through water. You have caused men to ride over our heads. But we have come. You have brought us into a place of rich fulfillment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So whatever season it is that you are going through, I want to encourage you today that God shall bring you out into a place of rich fulfillment. Glory be to God. On Tuesday we talked about doing prophetic actions in line with our faith. Amen. We saw Zacchaeus. He was shot and yet he wanted to see Jesus. He purposed to see Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Because he, has, he had heard of many things that the Son of Man was doing. Glory be to God. And he climbed on a sycamore tree. Praise the name of Jesus. And Jesus saw him. And Jesus saw his faith. Jesus saw his craziness. Hallelujah. Because faith is about being crazy. Praise the name of the Lord. And so when Zacchaeus climbed on the tree, Jesus saw him. He told him, Zacchaeus, you come down. Because today I'm I'm going to be your guest. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And that day his life was never the same again. Hallelujah. But Timaeus cried out unto Jesus. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. People were telling him to keep quiet because the master was passing. But the more he shouted, glory be to God. Jesus had the voice of a desperate man. Jesus had the voice of a man who was tired of his situation. Hallelujah. Is there somebody in this house today who is desperate for a change? Who is desperate for a miracle? Who is desperate for a supernatural testimony? Hallelujah! As you call on the name of the Lord, the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The Russians will run to it and they are saved. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Because this name is the name that is above every other name. Principalities bow at this name. Hallelujah! The Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. That stupid action, that prophetic action that Bartimaeus did, it, 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 it caused him to receive his sight. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So today we are going another level higher. Tell your name another level higher. Another level, another level deeper. Hallelujah. We looked at Peter yesterday. Jesus told him, cast your net into the deep. Hallelujah. He told him, take the boat deeper, 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 deeper into the waters. Hallelujah. And he told him, cast your net into the sea, into 
the sea. Hallelujah. And Peter obeyed the voice of the master. Glory be to God. He told him, Master, we have toiled the whole night. We have worked hard the whole night. We have not caught a single fish. Praise the name of Jesus. I don't know how hard you have worked. I don't know how much you have labored. But in this season, Jehovah is saying, you are moving from a place of labor into a place of favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say the Lord is speaking to us tonight. That we are moving from a place of labor into a place of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. And whatever would have taken you 20 years to accomplish, you shall accomplish it in even two hours. You shall accomplish it in even two days. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The days that are remaining for 2020 to come to an end. I prophesy over your life and they shall be the best of your days in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the master has come to turn around your situation. The master has come to change your story. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Today we are talking about prayer. Tell your neighbor prayer. 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 Hallelujah. Prayer is simply communication between God and man. Hallelujah. Bible says in John 1 to have all who received him, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. Hallelujah. Are you getting me clearly? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I say prayer is simply communication between man and God. Hallelujah. John 1, 12. For all who received him, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. So God is our father. Amen. God is our daddy. Hallelujah. And so in the, how we communicate with him, we communicate with him by prayer. Say prayer. Say prayer. prayer. His disciples told him, Jesus, teach us how to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Because they noticed Jesus had a habit. He had a character. Say character. Amen. Say habits Amen. of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus was a man of prayer. He was a man who was doing miracle signs and wonders, yes. But behind the miracle signs and wonders was prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Before any ministry that Jesus went to, he separated himself even from his disciples and he went to pray. Glory be to God. After every ministry, after, uh, after miracles happening, he went ahead, he went aside, he isolated himself and prayed. Hallelujah. So if the Son of Man could have a habit to pray early in the morning and late in the night, how about us? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You hear children singing in Sunday school, read your Bible and pray every day. If you want to do what? If you want to grow. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jehovah. So today we are going to develop an attitude of prayer so that we can unlock the supernatural testimonies that heaven has already released for us. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. We will capture the miracles by prayer. Hallelujah. 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 So prayer is the power force behind supernatural testimonies. Hallelujah. Show me a man who moves with signs and wonders. And I will show you a man who has an altar of prayer. Show me a man who moves with miracles, signs and wonders. And I will show you a man who is a man of prayer. Hallelujah. So prayer is the power force behind supernatural testimonies. Prayer is the fuel behind the impossibilities becoming possible. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer in faith attracts heaven's attention. Hallelujah. Calling God in prayer. Jeremiah 33, 3, he says, Call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. Praise the name of Jesus. Is there anything that is difficult for you? Hallelujah. Anything that is a matter in your life? Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah 32, the Bible says that I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. 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 So by prayer, we can move situations to work in our favor. Praise the name of the Lord. Prayer is a remote control to cause situations to work in our favor. Glory be to Jesus Christ. 
Are we together, somebody? I say prayer is the remote control by which we move situations to work in our favor. Hallelujah. So concerning that challenge that you're going through, stop murmuring. It is high time that you stop complaining. It is high time that you stop asking God questions. Hallelujah. And go down on your knees. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I say it is high time that you stop complaining and stop murmuring. Because know this and not this, that if you're going through a challenging season, and you complain and mama, you only make the season to be longer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You only cause your suffering and your trouble to extend. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. But when you purpose in your heart to bow down on your knees and call out Jehovah. Hallelujah. And he who sits in the secret shall answer you in the open. Hallelujah. And to thee that answer in prayer shall all flesh gather. And to thee that answer in prayer shall all flesh gather. Hallelujah. We have a God who hears prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. We have a God who answers prayer. He says, ask anything in my name and my Father will do it. Hallelujah. His ear is not too dull to hear us. Neither is his hand too short to bless us. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So there is nothing that prayer cannot change. Say there's nothing that prayer cannot change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is nothing that prayer cannot do what? Change. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything but by prayer and supplication. We can give it. Let your request be made known unto who? Unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not be anxious about what? Anything. Do not worry. Tell your neighbor, do not worry. Do not, worry. Do not be anxious. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is saying, uh -uh, why are you worried? The birds of the air, they eat. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. You are worried about what you'll eat tomorrow? You are worried about how your uh, 2021 will be? Hallelujah. Stop worrying. Start praying. Stop worrying. Start praying. Stop worrying. Start praying. Hallelujah. Stop worrying and start praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because there is power in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Prayer is the weapon that God has given us. Prayer is the remote control that God has given us. Prayer is the platform that God has given us to turn situations around in our favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! 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 Glory be to God. Bible says in the book of Isaiah 118 Praise the name of the Lord. Are we there somebody? Hallelujah. I'm not going to stay long today. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because I want us to pray. Say, I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come now, let us settle the matter. Let us reason together, say the Lord. Though your sins are as red as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Praise the name of Jesus. Though they are as red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Hallelujah. Jehovah is saying, come, let us reason together. Am I not your father? Am I not the one who made you? Praise the name of the Lord. I see the end from the beginning. Glory be to Jesus Christ. That thing that is giving you trouble, I am so much aware of it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to you, you to know today that whatever situation that you're going through, God is aware. Hallelujah. I say God is aware. Hallelujah. And the only thing you need to do is to involve him in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Stop wasting too much time in doing other things, complaining and murmuring, and using your own effort and start praying. Because when you pray, you get heaven's attention. After getting heaven's attention, you involve God in your matter. You involve God in your situation. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus told his disciples, go into the secret place. Go into your closet. Close the door. Hallelujah. And pray to your father. For your father who sits in the secret shall answer you in the open. Hallelujah. 
Are we together? Are we together, somebody? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And so we read in, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 16, it was talking about prayers, supplication, thanksgiving. What is so severe? Prayers, supplication, thanksgiving. Another version calls it petition. Glory be to God. What is so severe? Go with me in the book of Luke 18. She kept on going to him. She kept on going to him. She was persistent. Glory be to God. Tell him, ah, ah, give me justice before my adversary. Grant me justice against my adversary. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And this judge was unjust. He did not fear God. Neither did he care anything about God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yet he said in his heart, this woman, this widow, she keeps bothering me. Hallelujah. I cannot sleep. I cannot have peace. Why? Because she wants her request granted. What is your request tonight? Is it a job? Hallelujah. Is it a business? Hallelujah. Is it a financial release? Is it marriage? Is it restoration of your marriage? Is it a promotion? Praise the name of the Lord. Nothing is too hard for God. And so this judge said, I will grant her her request, lest she comes to attack me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so the Bible is saying, come, bring your case. Present your case before me. Supplicate before me. Come with your evidence. Come with your strong resource before Jehovah in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So prayer is also a means of, of supplicating. So that your request can be granted. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So do not faint. Don't pray once and say, ah, God does not hear prayer. Or don't pray twice and say, ah, this God, they say he's alive, but I don't think so. Hallelujah. Keep on praying. Keep on crying. Keep on calling. Keep on supplicating. Praise the name of Jesus. Suddenly, your request shall be granted. Hallelujah. But it's just a few way. Thanksgiving is also one way of praying. Not always do we come before God complaining about our issues. Hallelujah. One time, just dedicate your time and give thanks to God. Tell him, Father, thank you. 
throughout 2020, you have been my provider. Hallelujah. One daughter was telling me the other day, since January until now, I was left and forsaken, but I am still alive. In fact, I am better. In fact, I am looking better. How was it? Praise the name of the Lord. And I told her it could only be God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. She was testifying of the goodness of the Lord. She was giving thanks to God. Not knowing how 2021 will be, but she was giving thanks to Jehovah because of 2020. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving. We are talking about prayer. Amen. There is supplication. Bringing evidence. Stating your case before Jehovah. Because he is the righteous judge. Hallelujah. He is the righteous judge. If a wicked judge could grant petition. Praise the name of the Lord. To a widow. How much more? Our father in heaven. Who is our righteous judge? Your request is granted in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We have talked about thanksgiving, giving thanks to God. Just telling him, Father, thank you. I do not have food to eat, yet I am breathing. Tomorrow is another day. Jehovah, you will still provide. Hallelujah. I don't have school fees for my children, but I have children. Somebody else there is crying with no children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I do not have this and that, but yet I have a job. I'm not promoted yet, but my job is still intact. My salary is not enough, but at least I have a job. Father, thank you. As I give you thanks, you are releasing that which I still desire. Thanksgiving perfects your miracle. Amen. Thanksgiving perfects your miracle. Hallelujah. Ten lepers came to Jesus. And Jesus healed them of their leprosy. And only one, when they were going, one realized that they were, he was healed. And he came back. And Jesus asked, ah, ah, he came back to give time. Jesus asked, were you not, uh, are there not ten of you who are healed? Yeah, the rest, the nine of them. And he told him, because you have come back to give thanks, you are made whole. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your healing is perfected. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Every good work that God has begun to do in your life, as you give him thanks, he's going to accomplish it. He's going to perfect it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are we together, somebody? Thanksgiving, it perfects your miracle. It provokes God to move into your matter, to move into your situation, to step in. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving. It assures God that you're not selfish. That you're mature. You have grown. It's only babies. When you, when you buy for them this toy, they destroy it. They see another one. They start crying. Mommy, you're not good. You didn't buy me that toy. <laughs> but people who are mature, people who are grown, they know that my God is my father because he has blessed me with this. In heaven, there's so many things that I need and desire. Hallelujah. He will still bless me with whatever I need. Hallelujah. And you give him thanks. Another one is intercession. Tell your neighbor intercession. intercession. Standing in the gap. Hallelujah. An intercessor is somebody who stands in the gap for another person. Either for a friend, either for leaders, either for a nation. When I saw CPW, standing in the gap, interceding. It's high time, hallelujah, that we pray for other people. I know you are all is an emergency. <laughs> hallelujah. I know that it is a matter of life and death. But the Holy Spirit who dwells in you, the Bible says in Romans 8, 26, the Holy Spirit helps us in our intercessions with groanings that cannot be uttered. As a grown and mature Christian, hallelujah, when you go to pray, when I saw you, you say, Holy Spirit, here I am, pray through me, hallelujah. Lead me on how I should pray, and the Holy Spirit will begin to put people in your heart. You begin to pray for them, hallelujah. As you are sensitive enough, as you begin to pray, you will realize the same moment you are praying, somebody was in trouble, and your prayer rescued them, hallelujah. And when you rescue somebody else in prayer, your own matter is set. Hallelujah! Yes. I say mature Christians are not selfish and not like babies. 
praise the name of Jesus Christ. They yield themselves to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit tells them, I want you to intercede for this one. I want you to pray for this one. Hallelujah. When you obey, remember? Obedience. Remember? Obedience. In faith. Knowing that the Holy Spirit is leading me to pray for the nation. The Holy Spirit is leading me to pray for somebody who is not even related to me. And you say, Father, you begin to labor for them in prayer. You begin to pray as the Holy Ghost is leading you. And as you are praying, the Lord is saying, ah, uh -uh, this person is not even praying for her own needs. Her children do not even have food. Yet she's not praying for food for her children. Hallelujah. And he calls the angels of God. And he calls the chariots of heaven. And he says, go to that person now. Jesus, Amen. pray for somebody else. Intercede. Mm. More than even you can pray for yourself. Mm -hmm. It is a cheap way of getting victory. Amen. Mm -hmm. A cheap way of getting your need met. When I saw it, so many times my husband and I, God has led us to pray and fast. Or we have faced stiff situations. That have led us to pray and to fast or even to spend the night on the altar and we are here and the Lord tells us uh -uh, pray for somebody else pray for somebody else pray for somebody else hallelujah and we pray the moment you pray not once not twice in the morning by morning our own miracle goes in our hands <laughs> hallelujah intercede for somebody today and your story shall be different. Hallelujah. I want us to look at this woman called Hannah. Number four is traveling or laboring. Okay? Okay? I finish with that one. Amen? Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter one. Again today, the man of God was reading the book of Samuel and I was like, hey, okay. Samuel. <laughs> First Samuel chapter one. There was this woman, hallelujah. There was a man called the Helkanah. Let's read from verse 2. He had two wives. One was called Hannah, the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Sawa. Year after year, the man went up from his uh, town to worship and sacrifice to the Lord Almighty at Shiloh. Hallelujah. Let's jump to verse 6 because of time. Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb, her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate her. Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb, her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate her. Hallelujah. Some things you're going through, people who are in your family, your neighbors, your colleagues, hallelujah, they keep provoking you to irritate you. Telling, ah, ah, who mungu na budu ni mungu wa ima gani? Kama hizi kubariki na kazi. Amen. Kama hizi kubariki na mume ni waja gani? Hallelujah. Penina kept on provoking Hannah to irritate her. Why? Because Penina had children and Hannah had none. And the Bible says that on the Hannah went to the altar. In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. Have we read anywhere where Hannah told the Penina, where where? Where where? Utaniona. Did she answer back? What did she do? She prayed. Hallelujah. The Bible records that she prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. Hallelujah. Weeping bitterly. It comes to a place when you have gone through troubles and tribulations. And the only thing you can do before God is to pray. Because you do not have energy to do other things. You do not have energy to complain. You do not have energy to fight for yourself. Hallelujah. It is a place of labor. A place of travailing. The Bible says Hannah wept bitterly. Where you go before the Lord and all you can do is groan. All you can do is cry. All you can do is weep. Hallelujah. But as for 
she went bitterly and she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you only will look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life and all this will be used on her head. Hallelujah. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. It comes a time when you are weeping and crying to the Lord. And people around you do not understand what is this woman doing. Is she drunk? Is she crazy? Hallelujah. 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 Because of what you have been through, you don't have time to pray and looking at your makeup. And looking if your makeup is still okay. Looking if your hair is still okay. Why? Because of the trouble that you're going through. And because of what you want from the, from the Lord. Hallelujah. She cried before God. She wept bitterly. Praise the name of Jesus in prayer. And the priest looked at her and she told her, you should stop drinking now. And she told him, mm -mm, man of God, I'm, I'm not drunk. I'm just in pain. I'm just in sorrow. Hallelujah. And the man of God told her, she said, I'm a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring my heart out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I know you have been through tough moments, yes. There is a solution. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Do not care. He said, come. Come just as you are. Because he knows. Praise the name of the Lord. And when you cry and weep and groan and mourn, before him, he hears and he answers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he answered, Go in peace. May the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. The next year, Anna came with her baby to dedicate the baby to God. Her Samuel. I see somebody, you have been traveling, you have been crying on the altar of prayer. Hallelujah. Next time, the next year, a time like this, you shall be dedicating your miracle. You shall be dedicating your miracle. You shall be dedicating your miracle. Hallelujah! Because the time to cry is coming to an end. The time to weep is coming to an end. Because tonight, we are backing our miracles on the altar of prayer. We are traveling like a woman in labor. She wants nothing else. She wants nothing else than to deliver. Hallelujah. 
prayer in prayer you get direction amen in prayer mysteries are revealed secrets are revealed Daniel was a man in prayer the Bible recalls he used to face Jerusalem he used to open in his window he could pray in the morning at noon time and in the evening glory be to God and God entrusted him with the dream of the king he revealed to him what the dream meant and that one changed his life totally Hallelujah. As you pray, as you pass to pray, God shall begin to open your eyes. God shall begin to reveal to you secrets. Hallelujah. And so prayer is also a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Amen. Your enemies who are fighting you day and night, don't bother. Uh -uh. Don't bother. Get the word of God and begin to pray. Begin to unleash bullets of prayer. Hallelujah. And victory shall be yours in Jesus' mighty name. In prayer, our muscles are built. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus Christ. And also in prayer, miracles are backed. How many are ready to back tonight? How many are ready to deliver? Hallelujah. 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 To our online viewers, we love you. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you are there, you are not born again. In, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you in the family of God so that as you pray, you are already in the family. John 1, 12, all who received it, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. When you are a son of God and you pray, your prayers are answered. Hallelujah. Because your father hears. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. Today, I open my heart. They will come in and be my Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, walk with me. From today, I'm victorious and I'm a child of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So lift up your hands to the Lord and begin to tell the Lord, Father, baptize me with the spirit of prayer. Father, baptize me with the spirit of prayer. Father, baptize me with the spirit of prayer. Master teaches how to pray. Father, baptize me with the spirit of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize me with the spirit of prayer. Oh Lord, give me the grace to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus name we pray. For one minute I want you to push. I want you to labor. I want you to travel and back your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Back your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to activate your supernatural testimony by prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that you are believing in God for, I want you to push it. I want you to push it. I want you to push it. I want you to labor. I want you to grow in Jesus' mighty name. Masha Talebra Kataya Babosai. Jesus, we are never for miracles tonight. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you. Every power of barrenness. Every power of barrenness. Attacking me in the place of my testimony. Attacking me in the place of my testimony. Right now, cast me. Right now, cast me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my Father. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. As I pray. As I pray. Powers. Powers. Of barrenness. Of barrenness. Attacking my miracle. Attacking my miracle. Powers. Powers. Of barrenness. Of barrenness. Attacking my breakthrough. Attacking my breakthrough. Cast fire and cast. Powers of barrenness attacking my miracle. Powers of barrenness attacking my breakthrough. I command you now, die in the name of the Lord. Every power of barrenness, every spirit of barrenness, I bind you. Every power of barrenness attacking me in the place of breakthrough. I command you now, be la paradea, la catayando, le brasa cata, le paendo secate, le brasa cata, le catayando, paendo secate, le brasa cata. Come on, pray for all and listen, somebody. As you clap your hands, the powers of darkness, powers of darkness are releasing your wounds. May the devils attack. Let them attack. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let up your hand, declare, My Father, my Father. Satanic competitors challenging me to frustrate me right now, right now. Be disgraced, be disgraced. Say, you powers of satanic competitors challenging me in the place of my breakthrough by fire, by thunder. Be disgraced now, be disgraced now. Disgust now, be disgust now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, begin to activate your womb for your miracle. That's your spirit. That's your womb. That's your spirit. In the name I activate my womb for my miracle. Supernaturally, prophetically, when you do the paradea dosa, the parakete, the labrasa, the shekele dosa, I activate my womb. I activate my spiritual womb tonight to receive my breakthrough, to receive my miracle. My supernatural testimony. I am a candidate of the supernatural testimony. My thunder by fire. My le paradea. Rico shekete. Le brazata. Le brazata. My shekete. Le brazata. My le brazata. Le tayando shekete. Le brazata la de. Rito lo brasa kataya. My shekete le brasa. I am converted. My spiritual realm for my testimony. For a release of my breathing. For a release of my breath. I activate my spiritual masotera, the parakataya, the celebrasata, the prasata, the kataya no se, the solo prasata. I activate my spiritual womb. I activate my spiritual womb for my testimony, for my breakthrough, for my miracle tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. When you are pushing your miracle. Oh yes. When you are releasing your miracle in the spirit, you must ensure you are rest, you shut down, and it is destroyed. Those we call every wicked, hallelujah, every wicked, satanic, and evil midwives. They challenge your breakthrough. Hello, saint. Where is the child that has been born, king of the Jews? That I will go also and worship him. His target was to attack and kill Jesus, the Messiah. Yes. If you do not close the doors of satanic midwives, your breakthrough is your breakthrough is in trouble. Mm. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of these are your friendly enemies mm. who come to speak to you in the moment of breakthrough. Mm. Just when the breakthrough is coming, somebody is calling. You wonder how did he know? It is a spirit. It's a spirit. 
As you are lifting up here right now, I allow Shibita and I attack and arrest and disarm all midwives deployed by the enemy. Satanic midwives, lose my miracle. Leave my atmosphere. Go and you are bound perpetually never to arise again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. We bless God for this wonderful, wonderful moment in the presence of God. Celebrate the most of the Come on, come on, come on. You can do better than that. You can do better than the emotions. You can do better, 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 better. Hey, you can do better than the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hey, you shall celebrate now. I say you shall celebrate the Lord. Amen. You shall celebrate the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. I want us to say uh, quite hey to our online church. And we're going to organize and do something here in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So God bless you so much, our online audience. May the Lord bless you big in Jesus' name. And may your testimony, Amen. may your miracle Amen. be manifested before the ending of this year. Oh, yeah. May you enter 2021 celebrating, Amen. declaring the goodness of the Lord. May your miracle provoke worship oh. in the name of Jesus Christ. When Samuel was born, when he was born in the temple, the Bible says that in Eli, Eli worshiped. Hallelujah. Amen. Eli worshiped because of the miracle. May your miracle provoke worship. Oh. May your miracle provoke a turnaround of the people to seek God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you so much. Bye bye. Shalom. Shalom. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Celebrate the Lord.